So suppose, gruesome as it was, I was in, I'm, you know, this weekend I'm in some horrible accident and my torso gets destroyed and they keep my brain on life support, oxygenating it just long enough to do some radical surgery into some spare torsos. Where the torsos come from? Well, you had some living people, but they had very rare brain diseases and their brains suddenly liquefied. So now we've got some spare torsos. All right, so here we've got Shelly Kagan. His body gets destroyed. And here's my brain. Over here we've got Jones's torso. And over here we've got Smith's torso. Suppose we take Call this one the left hemisphere, and we stick it in here, into Jones's torso. We take this other hemisphere of my right half of my brain, we stick it into Smith's torso. We connect all the wires, all the neurons, the operation's a smashing success. Both things wake up. So here's Jones's torso with the left half of SK's brain, Smith's torso with the right half of SK's brain. They wake up. We need some way to refer to these people so we can start talking about who they are. Let me just call this top one Jones's torso with the left half of Shelley Kagan's brain. Let's call him Lefty. Smith's torso with the right half of Shelley Kagan's brain, let's call him righty. Okay. Operations of success, lefty and righty both wake up. They both think they're Shelley Kagan, so forth and so on. And we ask ourselves, according to the body view, which one is Shelley Kagan? What are the possibilities? We could say lefty is Shelley Kagan and righty is not. Righty's an imposter. But there's nothing in the body view to give us reason to make that choice. It's true that lefty's got half of Shelley Kagan's brain and that's good enough, but it's also true that righty's got half of Shelley Kagan's brain and that seemed good enough. So there's no reason to say that lefty's Shelley Kagan and righty isn't. And similarly, of course, there's nothing in the body view to make us say that righty's Shelley Kagan and lefty isn't. Well, it's not one and not the other. What are the remaining possibilities? We could, I suppose, try to say they're both Shelley Kagan. And so Shelley Kagan continues, that is to say his body continues, that is to say his brain continues, that is to say enough of his brain continues, merrily on its way, except now in two places. And so from now on, Shelley Kagan, that single person, is in two different places at the same time. You know, lefty goes to California, righty moves to Vermont. From now on, Shelley Kagan's bicoastal. Doesn't seem right. So what else can the body theory say? Well, the body theory could say neither of them are Shelley Kagan. Shelley Kagan died in that gruesome, horrible accident. Although it's true that we now have two people, lefty and righty, each of whom has half of Shelley Kagan's brain, and all of Shelley Kagan's memories, for whatever that's worth, neither of them is Shelley Kagan. We could say that as well. But if we, and that seems the least unpalatable of the alternatives, but if we say that, then we've given up on the body view.